Imagine a building so large that it doesn't just look like a factory, it feels like its own city. A place where the walls never sleep, where steel giants move with precision, and where silence is replaced by the endless roar of machines pressing, welding, and birthing the future. Out in the barren deserts of Nevada, where sand once ruled, and the horizon stretched endlessly. Something now stands so massive, so extraordinary, that astronauts can spot it from space. It's not a mirage. It's not science fiction. It's real. This is Tesla's Gigafactory, the largest car factory the world has ever seen. And inside this colossal structure, something almost impossible happens every single day. Every 40 seconds, like clockwork, a brand new Tesla car rolls off the line. Yes, you heard that right. By the time you've read this sentence, another Tesla has already been born, polished, tested, and ready to hit the roads. But how on earth is that even possible? Is this just a factory? Or is it the beginning of a new civilization of machines? To understand how we got here, we need to step back in time. The year was 2003. Tesla wasn't a global giant. It wasn't even a real car company yet. It was a tiny startup, a dream stitched together by a group of engineers who dared to believe in something no one else thought possible. Back then, electric cars were the laughingstock of the automotive world. They were slow, ugly, expensive, and so impractical that most people thought they were nothing more than glorified golf carts. So why did these dreamers think they could succeed where everyone else had failed? Then came Elon Musk. At the time, he was better known as the PayPal guy, a tech entrepreneur with money but no experience in building cars. And yet, he saw something others couldn't. While automakers clung to gasoline, Elon saw the future of energy. He didn't just want to make one electric car for the rich. He wanted to make millions of them. Fast, affordable, beautiful machines that could take over the streets. But there was one big problem. Building cars wasn't the challenge. Building them fast enough was. So, how do you take a wild dream and turn it into millions of cars? Elon Musk introduced an idea that, at the time, sounded insane. He said, Factories must be built like products. The machine that builds the machine is more important than the machine itself. What he meant was revolutionary. It wasn't enough to make a good car. You had to reinvent the way a factory itself works to make a factory so advanced, so perfectly engineered, that it became like a living, breathing machine. But who in their right mind would risk billions on building a factory that might never work? In 2014, construction began in the Nevada desert. Slowly, a steel skeleton rose from the dust, growing larger every single month. By the time it was done, the Gigafactory had become one of the largest buildings on Earth. Big enough to swallow 107 football fields. Big enough to have its own weather systems inside. Big enough to be seen from orbit. But this wasn't just about size, it was about speed. This wasn't a factory built in the old sense of the word. This was an experiment in breaking the laws of manufacturing itself. But could this gigantic dream machine actually work, or would it collapse under its own weight? At first the answer seemed clear, it was chaos. Robots malfunctioned, conveyor belts jammed, cars piled up half-finished in dusty corners, deadlines slipped, costs soared, Wall Street analysts laughed, competitors pointed and mocked, the media called it production hell. Elon Musk himself was so desperate that he was spotted sleeping on the cold concrete floors, too busy to go home tinkering with broken machines, and begging suppliers for missing parts. Tesla wasn't just failing, it was bleeding out. Was this the end of Tesla's dream, before it had even begun? But here's the twist, Tesla refused to die. Instead of outsourcing solutions, they decided to do something no car company had ever dared to do. They began designing their own machines, not just cars, but the very robots that built the cars. They reimagined every assembly step, redesigned robotic arms from scratch, and rewrote entire libraries of software to orchestrate movements down to milliseconds. Slowly, painfully, order replaced chaos. And then came the breakthrough. A beast so powerful it would change everything, the Gigapress. But what exactly was the Gigapress, and why did the auto industry fear it? The Gigapress was unlike anything the world had ever seen. A machine so massive it towered like a building so strong it could crush metal into submission. Its purpose? To take molten aluminum and squeeze it with terrifying force into a single piece. In the past, car frames were stitched together from 70 different parts, each welded and bolted over hours. One tiny mistake could ruin the whole thing. 
but with the Giga Press, all of it was done in seconds. One perfect, flawless cast. Faster, stronger, cheaper. Suddenly Tesla wasn't just competing, it was rewriting the rules. But if Tesla could build cars this fast, how could its competitors ever hope to catch up? Step inside today's Gigafactory, and it feels like stepping through a portal into the future. Robotic arms swing gracefully in synchronized choreography. Sparks flying like fireworks as steel becomes art. Self-driving carts glide silently across polished floors, delivering parts like loyal servants. In the paint shop, cars fly through tunnels, sprayed with flawless coats of color in absolute silence. In the battery wing, rows upon rows of cells are assembled like bricks of lightning, forming the heart of Tesla's creations. And at the very end, like clockwork, every 40 seconds, a new Tesla emerges. Complete, alive, and ready to change the world. But is this just about cars? Or is there something much bigger hidden here? Because Elon Musk never wanted Tesla to be just a car company. The cars were only the beginning. The real game was energy. The Gigafactory is not just the world's largest car plant, it's also the world's largest battery factory. Batteries for cars, yes. But also for homes, for businesses, for power grids, even for entire countries. Tesla's dream is nothing less than replacing oil, coal and gas with clean electricity. The Gigafactory is not just a building, it's an engine for a new civilization. But can one factory in the desert really change the destiny of the entire planet? The success of Tesla's Gigafactory didn't stay secret for long. Rivals woke up, governments panicked. China launched its own massive Gigafactories at record speed. Germany and Japan joined the race. Legacy automakers who once dismissed Tesla scrambled to copy its methods, desperate not to fall behind. Suddenly, the global auto industry was at war. But this wasn't a war of cars. It was a war of factories. Whoever built faster, whoever produced more batteries, would control the future of transportation and energy itself. But in this new industrial arms race, could Tesla remain the leader, or was it about to be outnumbered? Behind Tesla's dazzling speed lies a darker truth. The Gigafactory is both powerful and fragile. If one robot malfunctions, the line can collapse. If the flow of batteries stops, production freezes. One mistake, one tiny error, can cost millions of dollars in mere minutes. The bigger the machine, the bigger the risks. And now, with competitors closing in, Tesla must continue innovating at breakneck speed or risk being overtaken by the very race it started. So what happens when the machine that builds the machine begins to break? But Elon Musk is already thinking further ahead. Cars and batteries are just the first step. His vision goes beyond transportation. He dreams of factories that can multiply themselves. Machines that build machines. Factories that build factories, spreading across the globe like seeds of industry. From cars to robots. From solar panels to rockets. His dream is to create. A chain reaction of manufacturing that could reshape humanity itself. But is this brilliance, or is it the beginning of a dangerous future where machines no longer need us? Think about it. Less than 20 years ago, Tesla was a joke, mocked as a doomed startup. Today, it builds a brand new car every 40 seconds. What once seemed impossible has become routine. The Gigafactory is more than steel and glass. It is living proof that when vision collides with engineering, the impossible doesn't just happen, it becomes the new normal. So if Tesla can build a car in 40 seconds today, what unimaginable thing will it build tomorrow? And that is the mystery that keeps the world watching, because what's happening inside Tesla's Gigafactory is not just history in the making, it's the future unfolding before our eyes. A future where speed has no limits, where... Factories become organisms, and where machines might one day outgrow their creators. Are we ready for that future? Or will it arrive before we can even catch our breath? If you enjoyed this journey inside the world's most advanced factory, stick with us. Because here at Eagle Team, we uncover the hidden twists, the untold stories, and the shocking truths behind the world's most mind-blowing technologies. Hit that subscribe button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and join us for more insane stories from the edge of tomorrow. Because the future is arriving faster than anyone expected, and together, we're here to witness it.